it is difficult to come up with a car that most fully meets not only its purpose, but also the expectations of customers. Or rather, even customers, since Opel has never hidden who the cute and compact Corsa model is intended for. Corsa A started in 1982. At first, the firstborn was produced as a two-door sedan and three-door hatchback with 45 and 70 horsepower petrol engines, with a volume of 1.0L and 1.3L. The first Corsa was multinational, engines, for example, were supplied to the Spanish assembly line from Austria, body parts from Germany, and components were purchased from other countries. The technically changed second generation, the Corsa B, was introduced in 1993. The car retained the interior solutions of its predecessor, so after seven years it was hopelessly outdated. But Corsa C at the beginning of the XXI century made a splash. There were six engines to choose from, three or five door bodies, and a choice of transmissions. Bright appearance, boring, comfortable and, most importantly, unexpectedly spacious interior, five or three door body, a wide choice of engines with a volume of 1.0, 1.2, 1.4 liters. There is even a toothy 192 horsepower OPC version. As many as three transmissions, of which two are automatic, a traditional torque converter box and a robotic one. In a word, there are plenty of arguments for such a purchase. Let's see if there are votes against. The body of the Opel Corsa D can hardly be called problem-free. In general, it copes well with corrosion, but it is not without weak points from a constructive point of view. Regardless of the number of doors on both bodies, in places where the rear fenders and the bumper were in close proximity, scuffs and corrosion centers appeared already two or three years after the purchase of the car. Not without some scuffs and in the cabin. Many people complain about unpleasant sounds during the operation of the front power windows. The weak point is the cobweb of heating the glass of the fifth door. The defect is solved only by replacing the glass. Another weak point is the steering wheel, the leather braid of which wears out quickly. Massively there are troubles with the life support systems of the salon. Thanks to the statistics, the failing front wiper motor looks negative, but the climate system looks especially weak. The damper axles in the heater housing are broken. On machines with manual control of the heater, the fasteners of the damper control cables break. Fans and heater resistors fail. Such ailments are treated expensively through the removal of the entire instrument panel. The suspension can hardly be called weak. Tie rods, tips, and shock absorbers are far from ephemeral. They nurse up to 70,000 kilometers, and ball bearings resist even more than a hundred. The design is simple. In front, McPherson struts, in the back, a transverse beam. In general, Corsa is quite comfortable on the go and even interesting to drive. Relitzia recklessly and clearly slows down. However, the front brake discs often do not take care of one set of pads and the front strut bearings can easily give up after 30,000 kilometers of run. What, you ask, is going on with the baby under the hood? Everything is quite good here. Diesel engines were not supplied to us, so there are few such cars on the market. Gasoline engines dominate. A liter 60 horsepower unit is not recommended. For such a displacement, fuel consumption is high. In addition, the dynamics, to put it mildly, leaves much to be desired. The version with the 80 horsepower 1.2 engine is more fun, especially with the mechanics, however, modifications where the Easytronic robot is a pair of this engine, we advise you to beware. The union came out unsuccessful and extremely capricious. This robot is generally a dubious asset, especially in the secondary market. But the 90 horsepower 1.4 engine is better than you can imagine. If the gearbox is a torque converter, then there is no hassle with timely maintenance of the car. Gasoline engines are quite reliable. On significant runs, some sins are found behind them, such as knocking out oil from under the head cover or failure of the exhaust gas recirculation EGR, system valve. But in general, I repeat, they can be trusted. The only typical malfunction for all of them can be considered a starter failure at outboard temperatures below minus 15 degrees. In heat, however, the grease in the retractor relay thaws, and the starter comes to life. As a result, we can assume that Corsa with age looks preferable to many of its European classmates. Because of what, apparently, it is a shortage in the secondary market, especially in version 1.4 with the gun. Such a purchase will prove to be worthwhile, but in this case one should not think that the small size of the car guarantees its low cost. Modifications We hasten to warn against buying the OPC version on the secondary market. 
The car was offered only in a three-door version with a 192 horsepower Ecotec 1.6 petrol engine with a turbocharger and direct fuel injection. Such units do not live happily ever after. In addition, the hot hatchback drove on 17-inch wheels, which hardly left any part of the suspension alive. Body. According to observations, three- to four-year-old cars are not afraid of corrosion. On six-year-old bodies, it happens that rust appears on the back of the hood near the edge. But if, during the inspection, centers of corrosion are found somewhere else, then, most likely, the car was in an accident and was restored in the garage. The elimination of red spiders on one element, such as a wing, will cost at least 1,000 UAH. Transmission A fairly common malfunction of the automatic transmission is a selector failure. The box is not removed from the parking lot. But the main problems arise with the robot. Often they appear already at a run of 30,000 kilometers. This is sluggish acceleration, jerks when switching. All this indicates the imminent death of the transmission. The robot will have to be repaired at a branded service station. Engine. One of the common problems is leaking crankshaft oil seals. The front one will cost 450 UAH. The rear one will cost at least 600 UAH. Often the airflow meter fails. Refusal to replace negatively affects fuel consumption. The twitching of the car indicates a clogged particulate filter. Its replacement is an expensive pleasure. Worst case, you can just remove it. It's almost 10 times cheaper. Suspension. Replacing stabilizer struts is inexpensive. Corsa is afraid of pits, because of the, among other troubles, tie rods fail ahead of time, plus the obligatory camber. Electrician. There are quite a few weaknesses here. These are motors for the stove fan, front and rear wipers. Contact failure in the rear window heating circuit. These are massive breakdowns. Generator failure and seat heating element failure, rare. 